The Cold War was a race between two nuclear-armed superpowers to secure political and ideological dominance. And it fueled a race for technological supremacy. But who was in the lead? Who had made the latest breakthrough? Out of this anxiety came the fastest non-rocket propelled aircraft ever built, the SR-71 Blackbird. When the Cold War started, the U-2s were flying all over the world. During one of the missions, Francis Gary Powers, one of the U-2 pilots, was shot down. Three surface-to-air missiles fired at him. One of them came close and blew the aircraft up and blew him out of it. And so he ended up ejecting. Power's capture was a huge embarrassment for the United States. President Dwight D. Eisenhower reacted swiftly. He went straight to the top secret Skunk Works division of Lockheed Martin and placed an order. He wanted a reconnaissance aircraft that could fly higher than a U-2, fly faster than a missile, and he wanted it tomorrow. It seemed impossible. Building an aircraft that was going to fly faster and higher than the U-2 had never even been contemplated before. No aircraft had ever flown that high. No aircraft had ever flown faster than a missile. And they were given finally 20 months to build such an aircraft. 20 months to create an aircraft that could outrun a missile meant building an airplane that could travel at over 4,200 kilometers per hour at altitudes beyond human tolerances. Immediately, the designers knew it couldn't be built from traditional metals. It needed to be fashioned from titanium. But America had limited supplies of rutile, the rare sandy soil from which titanium is extracted. The world's largest producer, ironically, was Russia. Which caused a bit of a problem because the Russians weren't really excited about providing titanium to the United States. So what they did was go to off-site companies, offshore companies, and they went and bought the titanium from Russia. Initial trials found that the heat generated meant the entire aircraft expanded at speed. The expansion would have caused a smooth skin to split or curl. So they decided that they would have to build the airplane with the ability to actually grow in flight. And so the aircraft was built to actually grow 15 inches in flight from takeoff. Then there was the question of altitude. The Blackbird was designed to reach altitudes into the stratosphere, but at 24,500 meters, nitrogen in the blood would make the skin boil. To combat this, Pilots had to breathe pure oxygen for an hour prior to a flight to expel nitrogen from their blood. While the SR-71 was designed to rely largely on altitude and speed to avoid detection, it did have significant stealth capability. The underside of the fuselage was drawn out like a small boat, which limited radar cross-section. Special radar-absorbing alloys were incorporated in sawtooth sections on the aircraft's skin and the wings and tail fins were tilted inwards, reducing direct radar reflection. We did have defensive systems, but again, our defensive system primarily was speed. Faster you go, and the higher you go. That was how we got away from things. The first operational Blackbird flight was in December 1964. When it flew, it became and it remains the fastest jet-powered aircraft ever made, with the capability of achieving a staggering top speed of over 3,500 kilometers per hour. Its top speed's well over Mach 3.2. The SR is the only manned airplane that's ever done that. But Mach 3 was a different world. You can't imagine how quick you can get lost at that speed if something fails you can get really lost really quick. 
32 were built, none were shot down. It was only because of the development of satellite surveillance technology and high operational costs that the SR-71 was eventually retired in 1998. It was a cost issue. Flying the SR-71 was not cheap. You know, every estimate I have ever heard was a million dollars a flight. Whether or not it really was, I don't know. But that's a lot of money. But the lessons learned from its design proved invaluable in developing the next generation of stealth aircraft.